So let's go through this. The same problem that we outlined, 10 megapascal for the first pass in the steam generator, comes out at 440 degrees C, it goes to 1 megapascal through the, after the first turbine stage, and then it's reheated to 440, and then it's out of the condenser. The condenser is at 10 kPa, and saturated liquid comes out of the condenser. All of these are the types of things we just outlined. Well, I think we can make those calculations, and what I did here was summarize the solution to that problem. To, to remind us where the states are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and also to put it into a little matrix where I added the dead state, but here are the properties for state 1. Take a look at the pressures. Do they look right? 10,000, 1,000, 1,000, 10, 10, yeah, look good. And then uh, things like the temperature, 440, 440. And notice that for this problem, the quality at state 2 is 95%. So that state 2 came into the dome on our temperature entropy diagram. If we sketched it and tried to be accurate, you put a dome like this. You put the, the high pressure line like this and an intermediate pressure line. And I'm not doing that so good. I need to flatten that dome out some more like that. Okay. Um, put that like this, then like this, then like this. And so if we come out here, we expand, we get 95% quality at state 2. Uh -huh. See that? Then we reheat up to that, so 1 to 3, the same temperature, 440. This is a temperature entropy diagram. And when you expand down to 4, the quality at state 4 is 92 or 3%. So it's, it's in the two-phase region for those two states. Okay. So then we come across the condense at 5. I had drew these lines really bad there, didn't I? They need to be much, 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 much closer down here. Because when you put it through the pump, Oh, it's straight up. Now, I didn't make it look very straight up on a TS diagram, but notice that the temperature is essentially the same. It may be one or two degrees. If you're using a computer program to evaluate the properties, you'll see the temperature is a little higher. Otherwise, we just it's not of interest to most of us. It's so close that it's one degree higher. It's the same temperature. So I just put the same temperature there for state six. I didn't calculate. I just put the temperature there. All right, and notice that I got the specific volume in meters cubed per kilogram at state 5 such that I could calculate the work of the pump to be V5, that specific volume, times the pressure at 6 minus the pressure at 5. So that's how you calculated the work of the pump. Here are the numeric values in kilojoules per kilogram for the work out of the first turbine stage that reheat the condenser, the first pass in the boiler or the steam generator, work of the pump, second turbine stage, Q net and W net are both calculated and they check. And then what we find is that that back work ratio is really small, which is good, 0.7%. And the thermal efficiency is almost 40%, which is good. Okay. So if we come over here and compare what were the numbers that we had last time we talked compared to this. So here is a comparison of the ideal ranking with superheat out to 440 in just one turbine stage versus having 440 in the superheat, then you expand it to 1 megapascal, then reheat to 440, so you have two turbine stages, the one we just calculated. And you see that there's a small improvement in the overall thermal efficiency.